as an introduction to balancing equations, we are going to look at a scale online scale by roomrecess.com. I'll post the link in the description of this video as well if you would like to play around with it yourself. But we can see that there's a scale with a little dot in the middle indicating that the scale is 100% balanced right now. So if we add one gram to the left hand side, we can see that the scale is not balanced anymore. And when we add one gram to the right hand side, we can see that it is back and balanced. So this represents an equation. So when we've got an equation, we can imagine that right here in the middle where we've got this red axis, that that is your equal sign. So anything that happens on the left hand side of the equation must also happen on the right hand side of the equation for this equation to be balanced. Right? So the left and the right hand side have to be exactly equal. So let's say for example we add another 4 grams to the right hand side. We can see 4 plus 1 is 5. The equation is no longer balanced. If we add another 5, it's even more unbalanced. So now we've got 5 plus 5 is 10 versus 1. So let's add the 4 here so that it is 10 versus 5 and then what I just want to show you here is that it doesn't matter what we add, whether we add a 5 to balance it back or whether we add 3 and another 2, 3 plus 2 is also 5, it's still going to be balanced, right? So this is an introduction to equations, which means that whatever we've got on the left hand side, it has to be equal to the right hand side. So if we remove something, let's say we remove the 4 gram on the left hand side, we can see that the right hand side is a little bit more heavy. We remove the 4 gram on the right hand side as well. If we remove the 5, the 1 gram on the right hand side, we have to also do it on the left hand side because we can see that it's out of balance. Okay, in the next video we'll show you this through geometric shapes. And then following that, we'll turn to numbers as well, which is mostly the way that it should be taught in your classroom. This is an introduction to equations.